Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan. This is Gum Disease Awareness Month and I want to talk a little bit about gum recession and one of the causes of it. Let's talk about clenching or grinding your teeth. Almost all people in our country clench or grind their teeth during sleep. We're all under varying degrees of stress and clenching or grinding is extremely, extremely common. In fact, I think it's rare if someone does not clench or grind their teeth unless they're a mouth breather perhaps. So when you clench or grind your teeth, here's the gum tissue and here's a view of the what the tooth looks like if there were no gum tissue or bone around it. This is a dental implant by the way because this tooth was lost for whatever reason, replaced with a dental implant. And here are two teeth on either side of it. So when you clench or grind your teeth, you put pressure on these teeth. Now you see that pink tissue around the tooth. That pink tissue is called the membrane, the periodontal membrane, and that sort of cushions the tooth and it also has nerves and a blood supply in it. So when you clench your teeth or grind your teeth, what happens is you're putting pressure on that membrane with the blood vessels in it. And those blood vessels not only nourish the bone here, but they go up to the gum tissue and they nourish the gum tissue as well as the bone underneath that gum tissue. So you clench your teeth, you put pressure on those blood vessels. It has less blood supply, it's more friable, more fragile, and it's much more susceptible to recession or loss along with the underlying bone. So what are some of the things we can do to minimize damage from clenching or grinding? One of the primary things we do is make something called a mouth guard or a night guard or a bite plate. And here's an example of one right here. Generally it's worn at night, obviously, and it fits over the biting surfaces, usually of the upper teeth, kind of like this. So it doesn't stop you from clenching or grinding. However, what it does do is it distributes the forces evenly and you can't engage one tooth, the lower teeth against the upper teeth. So it minimizes the damage from clenching or grinding because you can't clench or grind the teeth together. Instead, the teeth slide around on this relatively flat plastic plane, minimizing the damaging forces from the clenching or the grinding. Another thing that can be done about clenching or grinding is actually what's called a clusal adjustment or bite adjustment, reshaping the teeth in such a way that again, the forces are reduced and sometimes some of the triggering that causes clenching or grinding can also be eliminated. So clenching or grinding can contribute to recession, especially if your gum tissue is thin, which may have been inherited from your parents or sometimes orthodontic can, treatment can cause that. But usually we make a mouth guard or a night guard and may do some bite adjustment, both of which can minimize the damage from clamping or clenching. And of course, we can, to a large extent, correct recession when it's occurred. Primarily, I use what's called the pinhole gum rejuvenation technique, which is absolutely great when recession has occurred. So along with many other causes of gum recession, we see many cases in orthodontics, people who are overly zealous cleaning their teeth, that's a major cause, brushing their too, teeth too often with too hard a toothbrush, but also clenching, grinding can be a contributing factor and there are ways to control that. And if one does have recession, it's important to repair it because it tends to progress throughout life and can endanger the teeth and lead to further bone loss and possibly tooth loss. So remember this, take care of your mouth, have a healthy mouth, you'll have a healthy body. Have a good day. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.